Hey everyone, welcome to, I believe this is the first ever unboxing, we've done it in Nintendo Prime. Yeah. So that's exciting stuff. So uh, we're going to do this in a two-part segment. One is going to be Switch and all the various accessories that we might have for today. Uh, and then we're also going to unbox a bunch of Zelda stuff because there's a lot of Zelda stuff. <laughs> um, yeah. So let's just get right into the big things. So for starters, this, I guarantee you, is probably the only video you're going to see on YouTube where we are unboxing two switches oh boy so uh here's yours i'll, I'll okay. unbox mine first and then i'll let you okay. i got mr eric here from the podcast to do his unboxing so first we'll show you all sides here so there's side one side two side three behind looking all good looking all fine sorry if you hear a little noise in the background you probably shouldn't it's pretty nice mics so let's uh, open the sucker up Ooh. Oh, no tape. Ooh, nice. That's nice. Preserve that box. Oh, yeah. Show you how to set this baby up right there. Mm-hmm. Not that hard. Plug it in and go. That's basically all it says. Plug it in. Plug it so, in. Open this bad boy up. Oh, there it is. Oh. Oh. It is tiny. Oh, yeah. I know some people said it's a little bit bigger than the iPhone 6S Plus. So, yeah. look at that, guys. Oh. Oh, yes. So let's save the best part for last. So we'll set set this aside. Maybe we'll take out... Let's take out all the stuff in here. And we'll set the box aside. Flimsy paperwork. Nobody cares about that. Your warnings and agreements that you agree to that no one reads. Yep. Yeah. All right, so we'll move this out of the way. So first up, I believe this is the dock. That is what it looks like. So let's let's take this bad boy out. There you guys go. Nice Nintendo Switch logo. There's the back. Of course, the cool part about the back is obviously inside where you have, what is it, a USB, HDMI, and your power go in there. And there's two more USB. I heard uh, this, okay, so this is blue. That's a blue USB. That means that is USB 3.0. So that's good. Um, I'm assuming that they plan for people to use that for like wired internet. Um, have, you know, have the best USB connection for that. And of course, there's where the magic happens with the dock on the inside. Don't know how well that's showing up on camera. But uh, yeah, that's where everything docks in. Looks pretty cool. All right, so we're going to set that aside. And what, what do we got next? Let's so we'll go through the cables quick. So this is the USB-C charger that comes with the system. As you can see, I do have an extra one here, so I'm not even going to unbox that because that's exactly what this is. Uh, and the reason I got two of them is obviously so I could use one with the dock and then one on the go. This is essentially or one upstairs or wherever I, I happen to be at because I'm not going to bring that dock with me everywhere, and I don't want it to unplug it every single time. Um... Now, as you can see, that's what USB-C looks like. Um, I This is the only USB-C thing I have in my whole house. So that's why I had to buy an extra one. Yes, it was 30 bucks. Yes, I know you can get them cheaper. But I wanted to make sure I have one that was graded to output the right amount of power. Because not all USB-C cables output enough power. I think it's like 12 amps or something it needs. So, um, Cool. Obviously, standard HDMI cable. Nothing special there. It only, this console can... I'll put the 4K video codec, but gaming-wise, it only does 1080p. So don't expect 4K unless they support 4K Netflix in the future. Aha. Uh -huh. So this is one of the, the uh, I forget what these things are called. Uh, they slide onto the Joy-Con, give you extra buttons. We'll show you what that looks like in a moment. And I, there should be another one of those somewhere. I thought it came with two. I know it comes with two, actually. There's the Joy-Con grip. And see a little bit of the side rails and how it attaches. This does not charge the system. In fact, that's what I'm missing. My charge grip. Yeah. I will have to go back in later today and yell at GameStop why I missed my charge grip. And why I missed it when I looked in the bag. That's okay. They, they drilling, they'll, they'll believe they were me. Drilling too old they'll they'll believe me. Yet. Even if they ran out of them, they'll believe me. And I'll get whatever next one they have coming in. Not a huge deal. Not until my extra set of Joy-Cons comes in. 
All right, so now let's get to the switch itself. Look at that. Oh, I don't want to drop it. Ugh. All right. So, first thing to notice here, it's small. Mm -hmm. Very small. So, in fact, let's get a size comparison. You bring your phone over here quick. Just to, just to show you a yeah, size comparison S7. there. So, this is a Galaxy S7. Obviously with the, with the OtterBox Defender case on there. But look at that. It's barely bigger than that. I could definitely fit this thing with all the Joy-Cons in my pocket. Mm -hmm. Easily. Not that I would want to. But I could if you I had could. to. In, in a pinch, i got to throw it in my pocket because i got to grab my kit or something. That, yeah. that, that's nice. Um, so there's that. Here's the top part. you got the vents. you got your audio jack. you got your volume rocker. you got a recessed power button, which I like. Uh, you know That way you don't bump it when you're trying to mess with the volume. And then here's the game cartridge slot. Probably got these two hands on this. Okay, there's your game cartridge slot. Now see your air vents up there. You got your side rails, putting the, the Joy-Cons on. And the bottom, USB charger and a couple holes that help guide it into the dock. This thing is light. Yeah. I'm, I'm surprised how light that is. Oh, now. Gotta remember, these Joy Cons are fifty dollars a piece, or eighty dollars together, and it's because of all the technology they put into it. It's not just like a, two, a standard controller split with two, because like on this one, you got an IR sensor. This lets them sense like uh, whether it's a triangle, uh, whether you're doing rock paper scissors. Uh, I I know one game on one two switch. It shows uh, you can move your mouth eating a sandwich, and it knows if your mouth is open or closed, and so it knows how fast you're eating a sandwich. Um, and this one also, it doesn't say it on here. Well, it might say it in the paperwork, but it also has NFC functionality underneath the stick. So that's where you tap your Amiibos. Or if you're in other countries, I think in Japan, they actually have some of their cards you can buy um, that you could tap on it, whether it's uh, like gift cards and stuff for the system. Uh, we do not have that ability in the United States, but it could come. This one has, I don't even remember what this one has. There was something special about this one. Now I don't remember. They both have motion controls in it. Um, but this is also the left one that, I guess I'll put it this way for you guys. This one is the one that's supposedly been having the connection issues. So we'll see if that repeats. It's probably not going to repeat in my office. But, uh, you know, if I, once I take this docking on t the upstairs TV, we'll see. Um, so, yeah. Can I give it a close look there? Side rails. Down. Buttons are small. Feels kind of like a 3DS. Clicking sticks, like that. Plus and minus? Interesting. Plus and minus, yep. What the heck is that for? Menus. Ah, okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. I think the minus button opens up the map in okay. Breath of the Wild. Okay. So, here you go on that. Now, for the first time. No, no. Ooh, sliding around. We're going to slide this bad boy on. Let's see how well this works, huh? Mm -hmm. Like, I'm just looking at the side. I do not see how this thing locks in place. Because it's got this little button for the lock. Oh, okay. I think I, okay, I get it. Well, let's, let's hear the switch for the first time. Ooh, that little click. Now, if the system was on, it would actually do, like, the actual snap from the commercials and stuff. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Huh. Um, only in this mode. If you're in stock mode, it doesn't do it. Mm -hmm. But there you guys have it. There's the back of the switch. Is it comfortable in the hands? Surprisingly. Yeah? I, I, you know, I got monster, like, look where my thumbs are. I got monster thumbs on. Like, I did that, that test. Mm -hmm. Well, they don't mm -hmm. pop up. Um, so, uh, anyone who might have watched our last podcast, uh, we said there was a concern about the Joy-Cons popping out. It turns out when the guy dropped it on concrete, it actually broke the, the latch. So, well, so they go. don't actually, don't, I'm, I'm punching it, don't drop they, they, don't, they don't actually <laughs> pop off. Um, yes, so, there you go. That's the switch. Put it in the dock for the first time. Oh, one thing I should show you, the kickstand. Almost forgot about the kickstand. If I can open it. First time opening it, so there we go. All right, so here's where you put your SD card. Otherwise, it snaps out. It only has one position. Seems to be fine on, on a table like this. Obviously, I don't think you can set it on a couch. I think mm -hmm. it's got to be a flat surface. But there you go. And now we'll put it in the dock for the first time. There you go. There you go. Nice and easy. Just see how easy it is to take these joy cons off. Ooh, that was smooth. I just have a bad grip on this one. Oh, or not? Oh, there we go. 
Nice. Nice. I could see how people like just leaning back and mm -hmm. playing like that. That's, that's how it's how's it feel, how's it feel in your grip? Oh, yeah. So let's uh, throw one of these on. Well, yep. So let's try the grip out quick. And we have one of these, too. I don't know where my other one is. We'll have to dig around here. If it yeah. flew off, if it's still in the box I took down. Because uh, it does come with two of those. But let's throw this in the grip. Now, this is Nintendo's solution for a standard controller out of the box. This is also the one that makes the dog face. There you go. So, first impression, a little small. Again, I'm not used to my thumbs being able to cross out in the middle here. Um, it does feel a little weird, my fingers hitting underneath here, when you're so used to just going around. Um, but I think that's just a minor adjustment, because as I adjust my hand now to hit these buttons the right way, um, my fingers are kind of curling up along here, so I'm actually not really hitting the, the Joy-Cons that much. Um, everything feels solid. So there you have it. That is the Joy-Con grip. See how smooth those come off? This is nice. All right, so I'll show you. Clicking them back on at the same time. Pretty cool. Mm -hmm. um, one last thing to show you from, from this box on the first switch. I just want to show you this thing. I think this is the one. Yep, plus and plus. Okay. So the slides on. So first up, there's two, these two buttons here. I think they're SL and SR, yeah. Mm -hmm. And they're like shoulder buttons in... There's a couple games that, that use it on, like the Malkin game uses it on 1-2 uh, Switch. And uh, Mario Kart's going to be kind of the big one. Um, you know, so you have two controllers on that. Now that, it, it does feel a little small, but let's see what happens when I throw this on and you get the, the raised shoulder buttons. Okay, that makes a big difference. Mm -hmm. Makes a huge difference having those raised shoulder buttons. We'll see how, how it is in gaming. Uh... One two switch will probably be the first one we get to test it on. Then we have Mario Kart next month. Um, we'll really get to see how this works out. Cool. So there you have it. Now there's supposed to be two of these. Oh, oh, I don't know where the other one is. I I will find it. I'm pretty sure it's around here somewhere. Haphazardly unboxing. Oh no. Okay, so I saw other people struggling to take these off too. These apparently don't come off easy. Then again, do you want these little straps that the whole thing's attached to to come off easy? Just a serious question. Like, yeah. Maybe yeah. a bit easier than that. Yeah. That was a bit rough. But but maybe it's because the buttons were stuck in. Because it's either plastic. Yeah. So I don't know. Anyways, until I use it in the game, I, I can't really fully judge it. So there's that. So now uh, I will let Mr. Eric take over for a second. Unbox his. Now he doesn't have to get as thorough since he just saw everything. But uh, <sighs> seeing two Nintendo Switches next to each other, it's pretty nice. Yeah. Yeah, and, and I can look for my other shoulder. Yeah. Strap thing. Oh. And there's number two. I, I can see why um, it's easy to lose these because they're, they're not even in the same spot. Yeah. It's okay. Keep going. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's so. why I didn't know. One's on one side, one's on one side. Yeah, alright. My, uh... Grip. Grip. In case it's off camera a little bit. Yeah, yeah. No worry, folks. I'll edit it. <laughs> yeah, right. HDMI. Power. Yeah. Throw those back in there. I'm not going to get too too wild with it because I am going to box it up and go home pretty much right after this. <laughs> so. Well, he does it on power now, my Switch. Can't wait. Oh, boy. Should put the screen first. Yeah, probably. Okay. Switch? Actually, again, you're right. Surprisingly, everything is surprisingly light. <gasps> everything Sorry. is surprisingly light and apparently loud. Alright. I'll get the... Oops. Sure, I accept you. Alright, and my switch. Up, oh, okay, fine, up over here apparently. Alright, my switch. Take the Joy Cons out. Here. 
here. Ooh, one click. Two clicks. And voila, switch number two. And there we go. I, I don't know what else we, what else we want to do, but okay. So let's dock these bad boys so we get a nice dock shot. All right. I'll even shut this off. Two Nintendo Switches, everyone. Two of those bad boys. All right. So let's push them off to the side. That's mine. That's yours. Okay. Doesn't really matter which one of these are what, but. Okay, yours. No, damn it, that one. <laughs> All right. So, yes, folks. This is the infamous Pro Controller that is hard to get, but everyone says it is the best way to play the game. Said I was stupid enough not to pick one up when I had the chance. Told you. Yeah, I know. So, remember, when they, the very the very first time you find one of these bad boys in stock, you better hop on it. <laughs> you think? Because the Wii U Pro Controllers were very difficult to get for a long time. Hopefully Nintendo realizes people really want these. Despite how pricey they are. If I can just get it to work, there we go. <laughs> and then Nintendo Switch reboxing. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> I wonder if, if you open your first. special edition Zelda, you can store your thing in there. What? Because it comes with the Sheikah case. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Good call. So then you can just throw your accessories in the box. and then. Good call. All right. So, getting this Pro Controller out here. Ugh. It is nice and smooth coming off of the Joy Cons. It is. All right. There it is. So, this supposedly has a 40 hour battery, which is half the battery of the Wii U Pro controller, but 40 hours is way the heck more than you get out of all the other charging things out there. So, buttons have a nice, nice feel. Definitely bigger. You get your traditional D pad back. There's also a locking mechanism on these, apparently. Yep. So. Oh, that could be why. Okay. So. Oh, yeah. Uh, the locking mechanism on the uh, shoulder buttons. Yep. That's probably what happened. All right. So, yeah. And you get a USB-C charge thing. And then you got, it looks like a button for connecting it to your console, syncing it. So there you go. That is the Pro Controller. It feels very nice. And I like, like, the throwback to the N60, uh, was it N64 or GameCube days? We had the see-through controllers. Uh... The 64 had one. Yeah, see if that... I think it was a purple one, wasn't it? Oh, they had a couple different colors. So see-through. So there you go. That is the Pro Controller. Running out of space to save it. <laughs> okay, and this is the cable. Now, I was curious about this. wanting to know the length on it. Um, because if you want to charge and play, it's got to be long enough, right? Now, because I have two cords, I can charge and play anyways. Because it looks like the cord for the console is really long. So I assume the cord in the box is really long. But let's see you say that's about five feet? Yeah, looks like probably about, about that. Looks about a five-foot five USB-C foot, cord. That's what here. comes with the Pro Controller. All right. And I think that... Oh! Do you have my box top over there as well? The my insert oh, yes. box? Yes, I do. Okay. All right. So this is just a standard screen protector. Uh, cheapest one they got, basically. The only one they have at GameStop right now. But uh, it is the official one. It is li officially licensed by Nintendo, so it's not some third party. So I'll pop mine open here. This really should be one of the first things you do with your system. Uh, because these are nice touch screens. It feels like a phone, but on the brief second that I used it. Uh, and just like a phone when I want to use it. Now, it's not tempered glass, but, uh, you know, looking at this dock, I don't know that I'd want to use tempered glass. Mm -hmm. You know, we'll see. I'll stick with this one for now, and then we'll... Because this is not a tempered glass one, as I said. So we'll just bust that open. So there you go. It's, it, it's one of those plastic film ones, but it looks like it has all the right cutouts for everything. And then there should be a official Nintendo Switch logo for, for pushing the bad boy down. And the cloth. Who can forget the Nintendo Switch microfiber cloth? Just badass. All right. So I'll set that aside, too. So last thing we show off. Outside, yeah. of, outside of some money shots where I try to set everything up in the camera. Um, one, two, switch. And the reason why I'm opening this now, because there's not really... How do you unbox a single game, right? Yeah, right. Um, it's not like the Zelda where we have the special editions and everything. So we're just going to pop this open. And I'm about to do what you probably should... Oh, no, no, I got it. You should have to use my teeth on these bad boys. All right. One, two, switch. So there's the front. 
There's the back. All right. Pop this bad boy open. So there's 28 games, it looks like. Those game cartridges are tiny. Yeah. You get to actually taste one? There's the game cartridge. So if you heard him talk about tasting one, I heard that these game cartridges are absolutely disgusting. And this one doesn't rattle. So I heard some people shaking the Breath of the Wild ones and it rattles. But 1-2 Switch does not rattle. That does worry me a little bit, the board rattles in there. But we'll see. I, I will, on our Zelda unboxing, we'll test that too. Now, there was some people saying that these cartridges taste disgusting. Um, am I going to do the taste test? Why not? Well, okay. I, someone's going to have to go hold the camera. Taste test. I am literally afraid after watching the guy on Kotaku do it. Seriously, how bad can it be? I'm know. afraid. I'm know. like afraid. All right. Oh. I can't even describe the flavor, but it just gets worse. <laughs> Seriously? I didn't actually believe it. It's got like this tinge taste that just like bites your tongue. Seriously? So I'm assuming that Nintendo did this so kids would... <laughs> not put it in their mouth. Or adults. I don't know if that'll make my kids run away from it. It makes me run away from it. After all, they live in their own poop half the time. <laughs> well, there you have it. I did the cartridge taste test. It's legit. It's pretty gross. <laughs> Whether or not it's intentional or it's just because of some fabrication measure with their plastic, I don't know. But Well, I might have to... The next official taste test. Giving it to one of my kids and seeing if it actually deters them. <laughs> All right, folks, and that's going to do it for our unboxing of two, that's right, two Nintendo Switches. Sorry if the angles weren't the best. We are just two people trying to do this, but uh, hopefully I edit this and make it look pretty for you guys. Time to get that Breath of the Wild going now.